The nine months of pregnancy are an awe-inspiring journey, full of changes and developments for both the mother and the tiny life growing within her. While the mother's body undergoes a remarkable transformation to nurture and protect the unborn baby, the little one is not merely a passive passenger. Babies in the womb are capable of some truly astonishing feats, even before taking their first breath in the outside world. From the earliest stages of development, these little humans are already actively engaged in the process, showing behaviors and abilities that may surprise even the most seasoned parents. Here are 11 incredible things you didn't know your baby could do in the womb. 1. Hiccuping Believe it or not, hiccuping is one of the earliest activities that unborn babies can engage in, often starting as early as the first trimester. These tiny hiccups, caused by the involuntary contractions of the diaphragm, are a sign that the baby's respiratory system is developing and practicing for its eventual role in breathing. While hiccups may seem like a minor annoyance to us adults, they are an important part of the baby's growth and development. Hiccuping helps strengthen the diaphragm and prepares the lungs for the transition to life outside the womb. 2. Sucking their thumb Many expectant parents are delighted to witness their unborn baby sucking their thumb during ultrasound appointments. This adorable behavior, which typically begins around the 15th week of pregnancy, is a natural reflex that helps prepare the baby for feeding after birth. The sucking motion not only exercises the muscles in the mouth and jaw, but also aids in the development of the baby baby's ability to latch onto the breast or bottle for nourishment. Additionally, thumb sucking can provide comfort and security for the developing baby, making it a soothing habit that often continues after birth. 3. Responding to sound From around the 18th week of pregnancy, babies in the womb start to develop the ability to hear sounds. While the sounds they perceive are muffled by the amniotic fluid and the mother's body, babies can still respond to certain noises, such as their mother's voice or loud external sounds. Many expectant mothers Mothers report feeling their babies kick or move in response to certain sounds, suggesting that the little ones are not only hearing but also actively reacting to the auditory stimuli around them. This early exposure to sound is believed to play a crucial role in the development of the baby's auditory system and may even contribute to language acquisition later in life. 4. Tasting different flavors While it may seem counterintuitive, unborn babies can taste different tastes from the amniotic fluid that surrounds them. This fluid is from the mother's diet, and its flavor profile can be influenced by the foods and beverages she consumes. Research has shown that babies in the womb can distinguish between different tastes, such as sweet, sour, and bitter, and may even develop preferences for certain tastes based on their exposure in utero. This early introduction to flavors is thought to shape the baby's future food preferences and may even encourage a more diverse and adventurous palate later in life. 5. Dreaming Although the concept of dreaming in the womb may seem far-fetched, research suggests that unborn babies do indeed experience something akin to dreaming. During the third trimester, babies spend a significant portion of their time in a sleep-like state, where they exhibit rapid eye movements, REM, and brain activity patterns similar to those observed during dreaming in adults. While we may never know the content of these fetal dreams, their presence suggests that the brain is actively developing and processing sensory information, even before birth. This early dreaming activity is believed to play a crucial role Role in the development of the baby's cognitive abilities and may even contribute to the formation of memories and emotional connections. 6. Practicing breathing movements Breathing may seem like a natural reflex, but it's a skill that needs practice, even before birth. Around week 20, your baby's lungs begin to develop. While they won't be taking actual breaths yet as they get oxygen from the placenta, they practice the motions of breathing by inhaling and exhaling amniotic fluid. These repetitive movements strengthen the respiratory muscles and prepare your baby for the transition to air breathing after birth. It's a fascinating process that ensures a smooth switch from a watery environment to a world filled with air. This practice is essential for the proper development and functioning of the respiratory system. During these breathing movements, the baby's chest and abdomen rise and fall, mimicking the actions of inhaling and exhaling. While the baby is not actually breathing air at this stage, these practice sessions help strengthen the muscles involved in respiration 
and ensure that the lungs are ready to take on their vital role once the baby is born. Seven, recognizing their mother's voice. One of the most heartwarming abilities of unborn babies is their ability to recognize their mother's voice. From around the 24th week of pregnancy, babies can distinguish their mother's voice from other sounds and voices, and they often respond to it with increased movement or changes in heart rate. This early recognition is due to the baby's exposure to the mother's voice throughout the pregnancy, as the sound travels through the amniotic fluid and the mother's body. This connection between mother and baby is not only emotional emotionally significant, but also plays a vital role in the baby's cognitive and language development after birth. 8. Developing a sense of touch. While it may seem like a simple act, the development of a sense of touch is a remarkable achievement for unborn babies. As early as the eighth week of pregnancy, the baby's skin begins to develop touch receptors, allowing them to experience sensations such as pressure, temperature, and movement. By the third trimester, the baby's sense of touch is fully developed, and they can respond to gentle touches or pokes from the outside world. This tactile awareness not only helps the baby become familiar with their environment, but also plays a crucial role in the development of other senses, such as proprioception and the awareness of the body's position and movement. 9. Exhibiting facial expressions. While it may be difficult to see from the outside, unborn babies are capable of making several facial expressions, ranging from smiles and frowns to grimaces and yawns. These expressions begin to develop around the 24th week of pregnancy and are believed to be involuntary responses to various stimuli such as changes in light or sound. However, some researchers suggest that these facial expressions may also be indicative of the baby's emotional state or a precursor to the development of emotional intelligence. Regardless of their exact purpose, these early expressions are a fascinating glimpse into the baby's ability to communicate and interact with their environment, even before birth. 10. Developing taste preferences. As mentioned earlier, unborn babies can taste different flavors from the amniotic fluid, but their taste preferences may also be influenced by the foods and drinks consumed by their mothers during pregnancy. Research has shown that babies born to mothers who consumed certain flavors, such as garlic or anise during pregnancy, were more accepting of those flavors after birth. This early exposure to tastes can shape the baby's future food preferences and may even encourage a more diverse and adventurous palate. By introducing a variety of tastes during pregnancy, mothers can potentially help their babies develop a more accepting and open-minded approach to new tastes and cuisines. 11. Bonding with their parents. While it may not be a physical or physiological ability, one of the most profound things that unborn babies can do is bond with their parents. From the earliest stages of pregnancy, a deep emotional connection begins to form between the baby and the parents, particularly the mother. This bond is strengthened through various means, such as the baby recognizing the mother's voice, responding to gentle touches, and even reacting to the mother's emotional state. As the pregnancy progresses, this bond deepens, laying the foundation for a strong and lasting relationship between the baby and their parents. The pregnancy journey is a remarkable and awe-inspiring experience filled with countless wonders and milestones. As we have seen, unborn babies are far from passive observers in this process. They can do some pretty amazing stuff. Unborn babies remind us of how incredible human life is, even when it's just starting out. It shows how important it is to create a supportive environment for these little ones while they're still in the womb. Their experiences during this time can have a big impact on how they develop and how healthy they are later on. As we marvel at the wonders of fetal development, let us also embrace the profound responsibility of nurturing and cherishing these tiny lives. For they are not just bundles of potential, but living, breathing beings with remarkable capabilities and a profound connection to the world around them.